Hello, hello, thought I'd go live. Yes, I've got a new washing machine here, hidden under this cover. Hope you can see me and hear me. I can't see if you can hear me or see me because I can't see anything. Yes, I've dumped that awful mealer. I just, <laughs> absolute rubbish that was. And I decided to buy another washing machine instead of the mealer. And I'm going to reveal it to you now. It's just been delivered. It's hot off the back of a van. I've cobbled some sort of connection up together. So this, although it's in the middle of my kitchen, is plumbed in, ready to see if it's gonna blow up or flood my kitchen. So let's just pick you up. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is a new washer, but look, <laughs> I can't say goodbye to this lovely Miele W1 Excellence Power Wash and Twin Dos. In fact, my partner likes it more than I do, which is amazing, isn't it? Why isn't the light coming on? It's it's not. He's got some of his dirty sportswear in there at the moment, ready to be washed in the morning. But yes, oh, I love it. Oh, you can see my ugly face. But no, I've got, some of you might know, I might have hinted, that I was going to buy myself a classic washing machine. This is an older washing machine, and I didn't even want to buy an older washing machine. It was just something I saw on eBay. I, I wasn't looking for an old washing machine. I think I was searching under vintage and then the name of the brand, where I normally look for other things. But this washer came up and it was fairly close to me. I thought, well, I can't collect it. Perhaps the seller might deliver it. The seller said they would deliver and I was more or less within their delivery range. So I paid them extra to deliver it. It's been a bit to and fro. <laughs> I almost thought I wasn't gonna get it right up until the time it was delivered. 20 minutes ago, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get this, but it has arrived. So yes, I have cobbled, um, as I said, well, we can see from the back. We'll reveal from the back first and you'll know, well, you washing machine fans will know what it is when I reveal the back side. You'll know what make this is, some of you, won't you? I don't know why it's got all this writing on it. Anyway, it's hot and cold fill, but I don't have a hot supply, so I bought two genuine extra long fill hoses, genuine Hoover ones. I think these are 3.5 meter. Fortunately, I bought these because there was none supplied. And then I've got this brass, better than the plastic, a brass coupling to convert the cold fill only so it'll fill up cold through both. And then at the moment, excuse any mess, it's going outside to my outside tap, it saves me undoing the dishwasher. So look, folks, yes, it's a Hoover. What else would it be? Oh, I need to do that before I turn it on. Hang on. So, ooh, oh, I should have thought this through. I need to get it over my sink. Oh no, I do have, I was, I did get an extension. I mean, it's possible, folks, that I could have this semi-plumbed in into the um, garage. I've got power in the garage. I've no plumbing, but using a garden hose connected to the long hose here, I could certainly get water to it. I'd have to cobble some sort of drain, but I've got somewhere over here. Oh, I should have done this first, I forgot. This is, uh, can you see it, folks? Yes. This is a, uh, ooh. Oh. Sounds like I'm ripping my trousers, doesn't it? Oops. Oh, it's, it's, um, yeah, I can't do it at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, so there's some way I can, oh, I might be able to just push it on for now. I've got a Jubilee clip thing. Mm. I don't, oh, I don't want to risk. Excuse me if I'm blocking everything. I can't see what I'm doing, you see. 
pop that under there. I'll have to be careful. I'll have to be careful with that. It's not going to hook over the sink unless I move the washer. I want to try it out for the very first time live for you. Well, I'll just put a bit of water in. Um, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, yes, well, I've got some other bits. Can you see what I'm doing? I've got this, these things up. So, yes, I wasn't planning on buying... Uh, no, that's not going to work. I wasn't planning on buying a uh, used washing machine. I've no space for it, really. But I couldn't resist. I think it was fate. Just excuse me, I'm just going to get a screwdriver. Well, that's very organised for me. I had one to hand. You, now, you were going to get a vacuum video today. You should have got it yesterday, but I had technical issues. And it was about to go live at 1900 hours. And then I thought, well, I can't have that going live, going up on my channel when I'm doing a live. So I've postponed that vacuum video until Monday, folks. So, um... I'll have to do this. Let me just move you. So, can't see what I'm doing. That's the trouble having it this way around. I mean, I can't see. I can't see what you can see, uh, which is probably nothing. So I'm not going to be one of those people that has lots of washers. But as I said, it was just fate that I um, suck your stomach in that I um, found this bid on it and won it. It only cost me, with extra for delivery, only actually cost me about £60 because, it, well, it, it, it was more than that. But I had some eBay vouchers, Nectar vouchers. So I um, cashed those in. So, so it took this down to about £60 delivered. And when we see it, it looks quite good. I mean, I'm, I'm a complete novice when it comes to refurbishing and fixing washers. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to attach this extension hose, tightening it up. I really should have a wet and dry vacuum handy in case it decides to leak all over the kitchen, but apparently it works. The man who was, I believe, the father of the chap I bought it from, the man said his son did try it and it worked. But I'm sure that's on, that'll do. I'm sure the washing machine uh, enthusiasts will be able to tell me what's wrong with it and what I need to do. I can buy a brand new motor if I want to for this, because I've seen one. Brand new. I'm assuming it's, uh, what's it? All right, I need to turn you around. Looks like a hot point or indesit. Oh dear, I wouldn't waste my money on a hot point or indesit. I'm not keen. Right, shall I reveal it to you, folks? I'm now behind the camera. <sighs> I can't read your comments, so I'm sure some of you have already guessed. Let's just do a big, big reveal. Ta-da! Here, look. It's a Hoover Ecologic 1200 Auto Washer. I don't know what you're ooing at, Indesit and LG washing machine. I'm sure many people watching this would not go ew at that. They will go, oh, that's lovely. Quality made, Welsh made washing machine. It's very light. <laughs> Compared to the Miele, I managed to lift this into the kitchen on my own. And of course it's on four wheels. So we've got all these programs here. Whites, fast coloreds, non-fast coloreds, woolens, supercare, cotton refresh, spin dry 1200, white nylon, minimum iron, mixed wash, delicates, refreshing wash, gentle refresh, gentle spin dry, and heavy soil pre-wash. Let's have a look. Well, it looks hmm, a bit gunky. I'll obviously, if, if this works, I'll run through a 95 degree wash uh, with some uh, washing machine cleaner in it and we've got some options speed wash half load econ wash wool crease guard i've noticed that button doesn't stay in I'm not sure if it's supposed to stay in because all the other buttons do 
Then we've got the start stop and obviously the little dial here. And this is the, by appointment to her Madge there, look. And the Hoover Roundel's a little bit off, isn't it? It should be, it should be more up that way. And then we've got the selector, bow selector here. And of course the door release. And inside we've got a dinsy wincy. It's like a dollhouse washing machine compared to machines of nowadays. Is it a five? It's a five kilogram, I think, these. And my Miele's nine kilogram. Ooh, it's quite stiff. That's the old sensor spray, isn't it? Have you seen the ad on my channel for the uh, 1300 Logic featuring Joan Sanderson? She painted her whole, whole kitchen green because the man said her new washing machine was green. And he says, I don't mean green in colour. Hoover have improved their machines with sensor spray. And then there's an in, there's a shot of this going round and all water spraying out. Well, obviously, pretty sure it doesn't spray anything out. These just scoop up water, these paddles, and shower it down. Something that's pretty common with washers of nowadays. So, folks, oh, crikey, I'm going to switch it on. Oh, I need to go and turn on the water first. Right, I'll just nip out and turn the water on. Hang on. Quick, better get in quick before it's uh, flooding my kitchen. I did try it out first, the connection. Um, right, so I've done that. So we've got the drain hooked up. I need to turn it on. Hoover. Ooh, thick. Blimey. A light's come on, folks. There's a light. Oh, yes, I've done some videos of the AG. The AG's gone now, but I did make some videos of it before. There might, might be about four videos of the AG. Right, what do I do? Well, I do have the instruction book. Look. I think this is from uh, 90 something, 92 or something like that. Early 90s. Oh, look, we've got all the bits. Hang on. Yes, I do need a matching dryer. Don't get me started. I'll start ending up wanting everything. I mean, I really would want a Hoover Computer Control 1100 in white. That's the one my mum had. But I mean, I'll probably get the same feeling from this one. It doesn't have the touch control, but probably sound the same. So I've got a nice washing and drying hints, Hoover and Aerial. Registrations. Oh, I've got all the bits, folks. Installation. Oops, order form. <laughs> what shall I order? Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, I can get a Y piece for 225. Tumble dry fluff, oh, tumble dry fluff filter for 276. Can you believe it? Obviously, none of that will be available. Here's the uh, instructions. Oh, it's Craig asking. Yes, Craig's a bit annoying, isn't he? Craig, keep it buttoned. Whatever you're asking, it'll be done in all good time. Well, let's just try and. Right, so. I think the water is on. I'm not sure if it's turned on at the, because this has got uh, two taps on it. I got one with the taps. I think it's on. Oh gosh. Right. What should I do? Should I just try a spin? I'll just try a spin first, which is, I'll just do a gentle spin. M. Now, do I, t do I, oh, hang on. I better check. I'm not sure if I should select the program and then press start. I'm not going to add water yet. I'm just going to see if it spins first. All right, load. Choose the program. Anyone have it? Choose the fabric on the Hoover key plate. Presso, presto. That's the end. The end of wash day. Load the machine. Well, I'm not doing that. All right, turn it to the stop position. At the well, it is at the stop. Load it. Yes, well, we're not loading it. Uh, add the doodah. We're not putting anything in yet. 
Uh, set up the program functions and then press start. Okay, so for, right, we'll set the program to M. This is very hard to do in film. I'll be doing videos of this properly, you know, edited. So M and I think, oh. blow up please. That's nice of you. That's nice of you. Let's hide you so you'll never be able to comment again. It's a nasty thing to say. You might like your Indesit and LG. Well, I don't rate them. That's my opinion. Ooh, it's doing things. There's no need for nasty comments, folks. You didn't buy, you didn't buy this. We all have our preferences. I decided to buy that for my washing machine and I've got this to play with because I wanted a classic. It, go, it goes quite well. <laughs> it would go quite well in this kitchen, actually. It's in Harmony Beige. Uh, shall I get rid of the dishwasher and have two washing machines? How's the meal getting, Mila getting on? It's getting on lovely. I've already used up loads of the uh, twin DOS. I love it. I've been sitting there with my back against that cupboard door, watching it doing various things until I learn everything about it. Now I'm assuming, well, it sounds okay to me. I'm not, I don't know. It sounds very good. It does it sound good, folks. Well, that does sound good. Obviously a lot noisier than my Mila because this is a brushed motor. I mean, we've got 90s technology here. Oh, this takes me back. I know I'm not a washing machine channel, folks. I do like to feature the odd washer. I do like washing machines. And I think if I had the space for them, I'd, I'd, I'd have, I'd, and, and could collect them or whatever, I would get more. But it, I wouldn't buy many. I mean, I would like a Hoovermatic twin tub, possibly a hot point twin tub that my grandma had. Um, obviously the Hoover Computer Control 1100, I'd like one of those. There's not a huge amount I'd like, to be honest. Right, well, how do I stop it, folks? I want to start... Can I just press stop? I don't really want it to fit. You see, I have no idea how long this is going to take. I'm used to having a display. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Well, that, I'm no expert, but that sounds okay. I might not have to buy lots of new parts for this. But of course, we've not added any water yet. I don't know if the... Um, pumps working properly. I don't know if the heater works. That's a section of the spin, is it? Right, let me see if I can cancel the program. Ah. I'm going to give the cabinet, it's, I've, I've just given it a brief wipe. I'm going to give it a proper clean, tea cut, bit of uh, car polish. It's going to um, stay in the garage. I'll be in trouble if this is my partner's out this evening. I've got to have this back in the garage before he comes back. He's not happy that I've got it. Uh, switching off, start. Surely I can cancel the program. Oh, well, it takes five minutes, so we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, I don't know why all this writing's on here. I'm not sure, not sure what that's about. Oh, is it finished? And there's, uh, we can't see it, but there's the... You won't be able to see that, it's not in focus. There's the rating good. I said it. Right, I'm going to risk putting some... Uh, water in it now that's the real test 
Let's hope it doesn't start gushing everywhere. <laughs> I've got it on this doormat. Is that it? Have you finished? Aren't you going to bleep at me? Aren't you going to tell my mobile phone you finished? No? They didn't have mobile phones when this was in <laughs> this came out, folks. It doesn't connect to the interweb like my Mila. No, it doesn't. Right, I think that's finished. Oh yes, it's gone to the dot. Okay, look, let's let's just try. Uh, where's rinse? Is there a rinse? Uh, surely, surely there's a rinse on its own. White sauce so under woolen super gear. Got no fresh white nylon. on. Oh, no rinse only, surely. No. Right, hang on then, I'll select the, the, the quickest wash. Fortunately, the book, the book tells me. One hour 45. You see that? Still a lot quicker than a modern machine. One hour 45. Woolens. Cotton refresh. Ah, there we go. 15 minutes. Cotton refresh is 15 minutes. And wasn't there refreshing wash is K? What's K? We're we missing a page. 11, 12. Oh, God, missing a page, folks. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll try the cotton refresh. That's for your underpants that haven't got skid marks in them. Um, so that's E. No, it's off, isn't it? Yeah, I think you do this first. E. I don't know if we can select half load. We'll try half load. And um, I've got some old fashioned washing powder. So because this is an old fashioned washer, we'll pop in a bit of Persil. Hang on, oof. Oh, that's just like the drawer of my mum's computer control. Oh, I did have a little scoop, hang on, right. Uh, it'll be that one, won't it? Let's put a little bit in. That'll do. That'll do just for the purpose of the demo. Let's see if it works. Right, so I've got E. Cotton Refresh. I'm trying half load, see if that works. Start. Let's, oh. Oh, it's flashing wash and it's going tick tock tick tock old mechanical timer hopefully i have turned the water on i'm not sure if i have yet we'll know in a minute because it should start oh a wick right <laughs> don't you leak don't you flood my kitchen live on youtube I don't know, I'm quite, I'm going to take that off. I'm quite excited about it, folks, I know, I, I do like me. Oh, oh, Roger. What? I thought it'd be filling in that one. Surely that's main wash. Unless it's going to, yeah, because this is hot and cold, I think it's going to put a bit, well, it'll try and put a bit of hot water, I think. Is I know my mum's computer control 1100 on any program, I think it might have been any program 60 and above or 50 and above, it would only fill up with hot water. And on, on you know, uh, lower temperature programs, it just fill up in cold, I think. Perhaps it did a bit of both. Yeah, I think it always did a bit of both. But it would just put hot water in if the program was a hot program. But this is putting in cold water. I'm hoping, oh, look at that, look at that fill line, it's already quite high up. Now I'm hoping it's going to, after a bit, because it's, I think it's determining how much clothing is in there. I think they, they did this at, uh, I'm hoping it's going to start topping up with some hot water.
it's a lot quieter than I expected. I just thought it would make a terrible racket compared to the Neela. I mean, it is noisy compared to that, but I mean, we can see the old, it's hard to see with that. I should have bought an extra light in for you. Um, I might do that. Uh, I should have done it. I've got the mouth, hang on. Um, I'll just see if I can leave you there and you can look at that for a minute. Right, I've got one of my big lights, so I don't know if that's going to help. Can't see any water coming out of it yet. It's... Ah, oh, hang on, hang on. It's doing something. Oh, oh yes. Oh, it is. I think it's putting something into the uh, main wash. Oh, yeah, we can see some suds now, look. Oh, it's exciting, folks. I'm so, so excited. Right, let's put this light on and see. I'm not going to trust any garments to this yet. Is that better? Hang on. Oh, has it still got the protective duvet? I don't know. Oh. There we go, let's... Not used to seeing so much water. I mean, it's ecological, but not by today's standards. Oh, I'm not sure. What have I done this on? Uh, cotton refresh, so oh, it doesn't say what temperature it's going to reach. I assume maybe 40. Yes, I will be running a 90 or 95, whatever is the... I just wanted to try it initially. Well, I'm chuffed with this so far. I, I mean, I've already been looking for parts and pumps and motors and door seals, but... I don't think cotton refresh is just a rinse, is it? Because, well, the refreshing wash, well, that is at 30, so that's cold. Well, why don't they just call it rinse then? Uh, let's see what it says in the boot. Oh no, we were missing a page, I think, for the book, unless it's separate. Oh, cotton refresh. Oh yes, it's a separate rinse. Oh well, I didn't really want to do a full wash. Just I just want to check that it's watertight. Oh, so I've put, oh, so I shouldn't have put any, should have just put fabric softener in. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? It's, it's live folks, I've only just got it. I think I'll, I think I'll ditch that Mila, don't you? Keep this. It will look quite, it, will, it tones in very well with the kitchen cupboards. Look at all that water. What would Greta Thunberg, Thunderbird say? What looks ugly? That's nice, isn't it? Take the notice, Uv Ecologic. You may not look as fancy as a modern machine, but you're made in the good old Great Britain, well, Wales. And it's still working, folks. I'm sure it's about 92. The uh, instructions say 92 on it. I've got all the brochures with these washers in. We've got quite a lot of washing machine brochures. Um, Starting with the electrons. You can hear it tick, 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 tick. Ticking away. Well, this got to got to be here for when it starts emptying, obviously, because <laughs> I don't want it flooding the kitchen. I hope the seal I made on the extension hose is okay. 
Well, I think that's that's been that's been well looked after, don't you think, folks? You washing machine enthusiasts, I think uh, there's a few. There's a scuff or two on the side. I've seen these where I, I was really careful. I gave it a quick wipe. I've seen these where all this is rubbed off. Do I take program requests? Oh, heck, hang on. Oh, right. Oh, that dirty sink. Right, yes, yeah, so it's... Oh, it's dripping. Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh, no, 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 no. I haven't got a... S hang on, folks. I'm leaking. I'm leaking. Just a bit. It's, it's, I haven't made a... Ooh. It's just because I've extended the uh, drain hose. Oh, and it's leaked. It's leaked down the back. Oh, I thought I put that on tight. Hang on. Well, you'd think that was, I've tightened that up. Oh, where's my screwdriver? I don't think this is gonna help. Oh, it's drip. It's still dripping. <sighs> Never mind. It'll it'll be okay for now. Um, I suppose. <clears throat> I'll just get the old washing up bowl. Oh, what? oh no! Oh, I'm, oh dear! I can't get the washing up bowl because it's holding the hose in place. Oh, it's doing things. Right. Hang on. Oh. Ooh. I'll have to sort that out. Anyway, as long as it's only leaking where, now it is getting noisy, <laughs> it's only leaking where I made the connection, as long as it's not going to be leaking from underneath, that's all I'm bothered about. So I'll just have to sort that out. Be okay for now. I mean, it's a bit, you know, gungy. That would not look out of place in my kitchen. I know it's an old washing machine, but the Harmony Beige really goes pretty well with my cupboards. It probably would blend into the kitchen better than the Neela. Scrap it. Who says scrap? I don't know. It's some nasty. I'm gonna. I'm not. Don't swear, Rog. Some nasty folk, isn't there? Hey, I've already managed to block one person who will never be able to comment again for being nasty. There's no need for it. You know, if you're not happy. Who cares if, I don't care if you don't like my washer. I mean, I'm enjoying trying out a vintage Hoover washer for the first time in I don't know how many years. I'm happy with it so far. It's a lot better than I expected. So if you're not happy for me and you think it's a pile of poo poo, keep it to yourself. Because I couldn't, well, I couldn't care less, to be honest. Hello Audrey, Forbes Hamilton. Where is the Henry unboxing? Well, I've unboxed about 30 Henrys. How many more? There will be more Henrys coming up. Cordless Henrys. Um, German Henrys. Dutch Henrys. Spanish Henrys. You name it. I've got them. 
Can I wash clothes in it? I'm not sure. Can you put clothes in it? I think I, I might be able to. But not yet. I will be doing more videos of this, folks, but properly, you know, properly nice 4K videos, edited, with lots of glamour shots. Is it loud? Well, it's not as loud as I thought it would be. Am I getting rid of the Mila? Yes, it's absolute rubbish. It was a waste of money, the Mila. Total, total waste of money, you know. It's, it's a silly, silly, rubbishy uh, washing machine. Of course I'm not getting rid of the, I love my Mila. Take that out, they're not mine. That's the sportswear that's going to have a, a sportswear wash. Well, what's he done that for? <sighs> Do you know what, I told my partner twice, there was a pound coin in this. The first, first time he used it, he didn't check his pockets. Um, and then this morning he used it, I heard it rattling about. I managed to stop it and there was another pound coin in. So I wasn't very happy. But I'm, um, I'm very happy with my Mila. Oh, back to the noisy one. <laughs> it is noisy. It is noisy, crikey. But that's the noise of a vintage washer. I always check my pockets and I do up my zips and I turn my jeans inside out. Where are you going to keep the new one? Oh, this one. Well, unfortunately, this has to go in the garage. It will come out for a play, and I'll be making videos of it, and then it will have to live in the garage until I can afford a big house with a big utility room where I can have maybe, maybe a Mila washer with the dryer stacked on top, and then the extra space can be for a classic machine. And we could keep this for all the, my cleaning cloths and things that we're not supposed to put in the Mila. Is that it? I, I'm just, I'm used to hearing, oh, oh no, that's, I've put the Mila on a spin so we can see the difference in the sound. <laughs> yes, I, I think I can, oh, oh, before opening door, press stop button. All right, and set the program to that. Well, the program is already to that. Hang on, oh, oh, it's not only, oh, it's one of those, is it? Is it gonna, I'm gonna have to wait two minutes. Gonna have to wait two minutes, haven't I? I forgot about that. Infuriating waiting until it, it'll go, it'll click, won't it, to open up. At least the Mila opens up uh, pretty quick. <laughs> A little bit different sound quality, sound noise, yeah. yeah. You're going to start spinning. Of course, it'll be quiet because it's empty. <laughs> can you, hear, you can't even hear it, can you? It's thinking, there's nothing in me. Can you wash anything in the Mila? Oh, well, I wouldn't put my dogs in it. Um, I would only wash machine washable garments and bedding and textiles and towels. I'm not going to uh, ruin a very expensive washing machine by, I'm not even going to wash hoover hoses in it. I've done that in my AEG, I've washed hoover hoses in that one. I'm not doing it in this one. How much was the Mila? Well, it was on offer, it had £150 off. So I think I paid £13.50 for it. So yes, expensive. 
can't hear it, can you? It's supposed to start, it'll start spinning in a minute. I've used up quite a lot of the old twin DOS already because I've been using it a lot. I've had to adjust the um, the dosage because it was too foamy. I've soft water, so I've, I've been in and adjusted the amount of detergent it puts in. You know, look, I'm... Obviously it uses up more of the one than two. There we go. I'm not going to wash clothes in the mealer yet, no. This is just a live impromptu video. I will be making more, I've, I've done an installation video of this and I've done an initial setup video, but you're not gonna see them just yet. That's not obviously, not on its full speed. But that's the difference in how many years, what, 92 to 2022. How fast is it? You're talking about this one. 1600 maximum spin. Should tell me if I do. So it's on a 1600 spin there. But it's not, that's not on its full spin speed yet. I'm pretty sure. 30 years difference, says the washer guy. And yet, have we come, well, yes, I mean, obviously, I'd rather use this on a day-to-day -day basis than the Hoover, but it's nice to have the Hoover as, you know, as a, something to play with, a little toy. Here we go. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I've used quick power wash. I tend to go into further programs, use cottons a lot. Um, but yes, I'm really pleased very pleased with it. Yes, well, Mr. Laundry 101, I wanted this. I had three criteria. I wanted nine kilogram. I wanted twin DOS. And I wanted the fastest spin. And I also wanted power wash, which some of the lower models don't have power wash. I'll be going to my mum's soon for a couple of weeks so I might uh, have another look at her Miele washer dryer so it's ramping up now it's full full speed solid as a rock it's a handsome appliance now back to uh, the vintage I should be able to open the door now hopefully yes, there we go bit wet inside. Here's a serial number if anyone's interested. What's Can we date it from that? So that's the model, it's an A395, is it A3956? A3956, so I don't know what the date is. My mum's had Hoover washers a lot. When I, the first washer she had that I remember when I was a little boy was a Hoover automatic. Just had a single dial here and I think a button here and it had an orange part. It was very basic. And then, well, the only the one I remember after that actually was a Philco. Some of you washing machine fans will know Philco, similar to Bendix. And I remember the model, it was a Philco W45A and it had two it had a dial for the programs and then it had a sort of see-through dial that showed you the program state. But if you pressed, I think the start button, you could make it go, you know, you could skip parts. So if you wanted your washing to finish a bit quicker, 
you could put your finger on the start button and the little timer would click round. So if you wanted it starting to rinse before it was supposed to, you could press that. That was a good washer. And then after that, yeah, it was the Hoover Computer Control 1100. She bought in early 1986. And that's the washer she bought that down south. And it's the washer we, we took up to Yorkshire. And that lasted a few good few years. And then she got a Hoover New Wave uh, 1500 plus five or something, I think it was. That didn't last so long. We had to have Hoover to come out and fix that. I remember I put carbon brushes in the computer control. Um, I thought it was the carbon brushes, it was working, but it wouldn't spin. So I, I managed to fix that for my mum back in the day. And then after the new wave, she, she got Bosch machines, the Bosch Max. I think she had another Bosch after that. And then she inherited the Milo washer dryer. So, you know, she hasn't had that many washing machines. Um, so there's the Milo. Hi, don't, don't worry, I still love you. I'm just playing with this one. I still love you. I love you too. I'm just getting to know you. <laughs> so I can't, I won't start at me. Oh, it's not, no, you see, because I put it on a, I didn't realise it was just a rinse, so it's not put the powder in. So I will do proper videos of this. This is just a quick look. It's just arrived. I just wanted to do a live sort of first turning on. So if it floods my kitchen, you would have seen it happening. But it seems to have turned out very well. Um, very happy with it. I just don't know where it's going to go. It'll have to go in the garage somewhere for now. Um, but um, I'm going to spend the day with it sometime uh, in a few weeks. So you won't see this for a bit, folks. Because um, I'm going to be away and then I'm going in my caravan. So it's going to be a while until I get this out again. But when I, uh, when I do, I'll be proper, you know, I'll have my proper camera set up and tripod. You won't be, it won't be all this palaver, you know, be uh, much better. And I'll uh, obviously put some clothes in. But yes, I'm uh, pretty pleased. I mean, I think I would have, might have preferred white, but again, I think I've seen white ones and they control pack. Now my, uh, <laughs> my app on my iPad saying your laundry is ready. Um, yeah, the white ones tend to yellow, don't they? On the control panel. So this Harmony Beige. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's doing the old anti-crease. I do like the light. I do, where's the light? Can we see the light? Anyway, I'll pop this back in. This is going to get washed tomorrow. It's not mine. Oh, look. Oh, I'm going to have to tell him off because he doesn't do the zips up. I said, if you break that washer, you're fixing it. Well, you're paying for it being fixed. That's too big a load. He's going to do that on sportswear. This is just a mixture. It's, what's that? No, we don't want to, we might see some skimpy underpants or something. Oh, we are, look. oh no, look at these. <laughs> Ugh. I think that goes over your bottom. I think the cycle of shorts, I don't know. So I will be, you know, I don't want nagging because I know you washing machine folks, a lot of you nag, nag, nag when you're doing this. So you will, I will be showing you this again, but I mainly do vacuums on this channel. So the vacuums come first. So uh, we'll say, Goodbye to that for now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, yes, we had a bit of a leak. So this is just, it's just connected to cold fill. It's hot and cold fill, as most washers were at the time. I live in a new build house and they don't tend to put in hot plumbing for your appliances. They just do a cold, because most washers, I know EBAC do a hot and cold, but most washers are now cold fill only. And my mum's old house, she had a hot supply to her washer. But because I don't, this is now connected to the outside tap. Using the old Y piece. Now that's where it's, uh, yeah. Using that, I've got a brass one, I think it's best. And the plastic, and I've used some PTFE tape as well. And two genuine 
extra long hoover hoses. Is that leaking a bit? I know, I think that's, I think the water on there is from the, when it was, the fill hose was leaking a bit. No, the drain hose was leaking. That looks very familiar to me. I, I do remember the back of the hoover wash. And the good thing about these, they're on wheels. Four wheels, so you can wheel them out for cleaning. There's a quality assured sticker. Can't really see much on there now. It's uh, it's that old. Computer tested. I think, uh, well, let's, I want to get rid of that. What's the quickest wash? And then I can look at your comments while we're selecting a doobly. Uh, 45, no, woolens, it won't do much on woolens, will it? On woolens, it will just uh, hardly move. I think these pages are out of order. Oh, look at those. Do you remember? I remember those. Was it the Aerialette? That was a hard plastic ball, and then that one came out, looked like a fabric thing, wasn't it? Yes, we used to use those. My mum had those back in the day. Well, I can select half load. Uh, yeah, I think the crease guard button could be faulty, folks. I don't know because I don't, it doesn't stay in. I think I don't know if it, I think it's supposed to. Well, maybe not. Well, I'll see when if that lights up. If you press it and that lights up, then it, it obviously doesn't stay in. But I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really. I don't really want to run a very long program. Woolens is only 45 minutes. Oh, super care. Oh no, that's going to be hand wash items. Oh, well, let's have a look. <sighs> let's try, should we try, I don't know. H, right, it's off H. I want it to have a bit of a temperature wash. I think that'll be 50, won't it? Minimum iron, um, but we'll go for a half load because it's got nothing in it. I'll oh, we'll see if economy works on it as well. Um, and we'll try speed wash. Okay, I think that's everything, is it? No, you see, that's, yeah, look. So we've got a problem with the old crease guard button. So yeah, it's not perfect. It, it did light up briefly, so there's something up with that. Oh good, it's uh, going in both. Right, let's take a, a seat and uh, see what you've been saying about me. All nasty things, I expect. Oh, I've got my lenses in, so I won't be able to read what you're saying. <laughs> Might have to take one. I might, I'll take one out. Hang on. There. Look, I'm half blind. If I close one eye, I can see your comments better because I'm better close up without a lens in. Oh, that's better. So I can see distance and close. Right, so I can only start commenting on fairly recent because it's not going back much further. Top right on front panel, I don't know what that is. E, what's E? Cotton refresh, oh yes, that was what I've just done. Ah, oh, so I can press the stop button and advance the dial. The alphabet cycles remind me of the Lady Kenmore washers made from 1959 to the late 60s that used letters to represent the cycles. So Sean, you're obviously I assume you're in America. We don't have Kenmore here. Why would it be a Samsung Eco Bubble? It's not. How much kilogram is this washer? I'm, I'm assuming you mean this one. I think it's five kilogram. Um, oops. They're a lot smaller. 
the washers. But I mean, we had a family of six where my mum had a, a five kilogram washer or it might have even been a bit smaller than that, the early, early Hoover automatic she had. And it managed very well. Must have done. My mum was always washing and drying with four boys, a husband and might have had about five or six dogs at the time. Right, I shouldn't stop because every time I stop, I have to scroll back down. Steph Flowers, hello my little boy. Rumen is that? Last your program. We literally watch you 24 seven. He wants to repair Hoovers like you and that Mila. Ha ha, he's only three years old. Hello Rumen, I hope I've said that correctly. I've answered how much Demila was. Where was the vintage machine from? Um, well, somewhere, I can't remember, eBay. I think it was from Barnsley. Made in Wales, though. Da -da -da -da. So you're saying things, and I don't know what you're talking about, whether it's this washer, how heavy is, is it? I don't know how heavy that is. I know that the Mila was 90, 95 kilograms, but that is nowhere near, because I managed, well, I had to lift it out the back of the van um, with another, with a bloke who brought it for me. And it was, I thought at the time, crikey, that's light. And I managed to get it into my kitchen on my own and I had to lift it over the outside patio doors on my own. So, yeah, I don't know, it might be 60 kilograms in weight to that. I don't know how. I don't, you might have been referring to the Mila, because I think I was at the Mila when you asked that. Garrett missed a good portion. Well, as long as I don't say anything controversial, Garrett, uh, I'll leave this video up so you can watch, watch the bits you missed. Do I take requests with the Mila? Well, yes, I, I will take requests. Um, what do you want to see it doing? Um, it can tap dance along the kitchen floor. It can sing most of Abba's songs. I've taught it well. Um, I'm not sure. No, I won't be taking requests, but I will be showing the Mila in action, doing various programs. Nobody watches so many of the washer ones, so uh, there's loads of washing machine channels that I'm sure have all the programmes on you want to watch. This is better than watching the BBC at the moment, or ITV. I'd, I'd gladly sit and watch this. <laughs> right, hang on, I've lost everywhere now. <clears throat> no, Caroline Barry says, Mila kind of ripped people off for the little cartridges of detergent. Right. They're optional. I don't know if you're meaning the cap dose. The, buying the little caps is fairly expensive. I've got some more coming. Mila have got 20% off all their detergents. So I have bought some caps. They're useful if you just want to use a specialist detergent, like the proofing, um, or they do a detergent. They do a little cap that's supposed to repair cotton. It's supposed to remove bobbling and stuff. I don't know how it works, but I've got some of those. And the actual uh, twin DOS detergent, I think, works out cheaper. I've bought another load of it because it's 20% off. But because the machine doses it for you, you're not putting too much in. And I think in the long term, it will be cheaper. But you're free to use your own detergent if you like. So I don't think Mila ripping you off. I've spent a lot of money on that washer. I do like to use the proper Mila stuff. And it is so convenient not having to put the detergent in. I know it's a little thing, but it's just being able to turn the dial and know once you've told it if it's coloured or whites, so you know it's going to sort out the detergent for you. So it's really good. I'm, I'm happy with it. Right, I've lost your space again. 
What does F-E mean? Where's F-E? Not no. Flat Earth? Um, I don't know. Right, hang on, I've lost, I've lost your space again. All right, we've done about Mila. I don't think they've bit people off. They're optional. If you want to know about ripping people off, look at Dyson. Uh, yes, back to the no Mr. Noisy Hoover. Well, I don't think it's a lot quieter than I, I was expecting it to be. A lot, lot quieter. I mean, I know it's got not, it's not got clothes in it. I think Bosch make a lot of their washers in China now, apart from the high-end ones, don't they? I didn't even consider a Bosch. I've had loads of Bosch ones, and I, I, I always knew I'd be getting a Miele. In fact, I want a Miele tumble dryer now, and I want to upgrade my dishwasher, but that will have to wait. Philco Duomatic is what Philco had. You see, Philco also had the Ford branding on. I don't know how that happened. Maybe they were part of the Ford, and it was the Ford Motor Company. They had some connection, because I remember seeing Philco Ford washing machines, and it was the Ford logo that you see on Ford cars. I think the Philco my mum had was made in Italy. Well, Coco Chanel says, oh, I love vintage washers. We did, however, we went a step back from our generation because back in the day, the spin speed was 2000 RPM, but modern ones only have the max to 1600. I don't remember 2000 RPM. Oh, well, yes, twin tubs. You could get twin tubs for like 2300 RPM, but I think they seemed higher because the tubs were smaller. That's how I read it. They, they might revolve at 2,000 revolutions per minute, but they're smaller tubs, I think. I don't know if that's the doodle. People are asking if they can request. People can request anything. Whether I do it is another matter. That's probably the best model for Mila. Well, it's not the it's not the top of the range. I didn't want the top of the range one. I didn't want the Passion. That's two thousand three hundred pounds or something, and it's hot and cold fill, which I wouldn't use. I don't like the I don't like the Milas with the the bigger uh, frame around the door because I'm sure the porthole is smaller on those, and I like to be able. To, I mean, the porthole's tiny on this compared to my Mila, and if I had my AEG still. That porthole on that was massive. I mean, it was bigger, bigger than the Mila. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, hang on. I've, I, I shouldn't stop. I should. I'll just. I'll just try and go through your questions and comments, and um, not stop because I keep having to scroll all the way back down again. Crikey. A lot of folk watching. Well, there's nothing on TV these days. Saturday night used to be great. In the, well, certainly even in the 90s, I remember Saturday night TV in the UK. We had Knowles, Crinkly Bottom. We had Birds of a Feather. We had Challenge Annika, House of Elliot. Some fantastic shows. And now it's just Ant and Deck. <laughs> I'd rather sit and watch this. Much more entertaining, yes. Oh, I've done the fame. Yes, hang on. I'm going too far now. Just... Wait a minute, I'm just going to reposition. Ah. Is Florence Ballard watching? Hello, Florence. I've seen some of your videos. I think Florence would uh, be liking this. I can't. I, oh, is it Brandon? I think your name's Brandon. I think you're Brandon, aren't you? I think Brandon's your real name, but I know you as Florence, you see. Uh, oh, I've done that. Mm -hmm. uh, Bosch lad, can you do a Cotton 60 on Mila versus Hoover? I don't know if I'll be doing any versus videos, folks, because this is just a, in my kitchen as a temporary thing. And I'll be making, well, I'll, I don't know what, to, I don't know. I'll see what I can do with it, but um, 
obviously people watch my channel mainly for vacuums so the washers will be here and, and but they will not be featured as much that's a nice shot you can see the Mila in the background there right it's got lots of uh lots of uh, comments asking me to do various thing is Hoover would have been made in Merthyr Tidfil, Wales. The factory is just the Hoover candy. Yes. Oh, I know this is Welsh. There's a couple of videos on YouTube where people have gone round the the old Hoover factory. I don't know if it's still there or demolished. But, they, you know, it's all beaten up and broken windows now. But there was a room and I think there was a, some old Hoovers in it. Probably all been nicked by now. Private one, after a disaster with a Beko and A-star customer service from AO, allowing to swap back to Samsung, I hugged and kissed my new machine as, as the fitter, as a mother of two adult disabled kids. I don't mind Beko, the Beko's I've used for budget. If I was looking for a budget machine, I would probably go for Beko over like an Indesit. Would that drawer handle the dishwasher? Would that drawer handle the dish? Oh, that, I don't think so. Well, maybe if I took the fas fascia, the panel, front panel off, yes. But it'll come clean in a bit of bleach solution. I haven't even looked at what's underneath the drawer, how black that might be. When's the next pneumatic video? Probably in a couple of weeks. I must have about six pneumatics you haven't seen yet. What model is your Mila? I can't remember. It's, a, it's an excellence, W1 excellence. I can't remember the model. Ooh, I can hear clicking. I wonder if it's going to uh, start emptying in a minute. Now this washer's from the 90s. It's around 92, I, I would suspect. This washer is a 1200 max spin. The Mila's 1600. And this washer cost me about 60 quid because I had a coupon. I think I think the bidding went up to just over 100, but I had a voucher. So it cost me about 60 with delivery. And for that, I'm pretty happy. Can you give my wife a little shout out? She's watching, isn't it? Hello, Rachel. <gasps> not Rachel from Friends. Oh, no, that's not your real name. So hello Rachel, are you still watching my sudsy water? No dirty underpants, it's just... Oh yeah, I forgot to... Oh, of course I can't. Yes, my mum's Hoover computer control it didn't have this bit. It didn't have the double glazed bit. So I could touch it and get a nice warm hand. The Mila doesn't have double glazed. I think they did that because kiddies were getting burnt. Because back in the day, people used to wash at much higher temperatures, 60 and 95. And the doors used to get very hot. And I think, yes, kiddies were getting their hands burnt on them. And so a lot of manufacturers put on, I think it's a plastic. Obviously, it's a glass door inside, so I can't feel. That's very sudsy, considering it didn't have much powder left in the drawer, isn't it? Very sudsy. What sort of controller does it have? I've heard of these older washers having mechanical... Well, no, well, this one, no, I think it's mechanical. Cruze, is it Cruze timer? Well, you can hear it's clicking and ticking. I think it's mechanical. Roger, have you heard of gas dryers or not? Yes, I have heard of them, but not in the UK. I don't know if you can get a gas dryer now. I know a company called White Knight, who used to be made in Halifax in Yorkshire. I don't think, I'm not sure if they exist anymore. They did a gas tumble dryer. You could at some point buy gas tumble dryers in the UK, but I don't think they caught on. And I don't know of any manufacturer in the UK offering a gas tumble dryer now, but I could be wrong. But a lot, lot harder to install a gas tumble dryer than an electric one. Uh, 
Um. Bubbles Darling says Hoovermatic. Hoovermatic, just the right size. Of course, it was designed for your kitchen. I'm always doing wash day, just forget it. I'm always saying that. Hoovermatic has the white version and it was a Facebook find in mint condition. No, Mark Fontaine, because of your nasty comments to me, I decided to get rid of the meal I was going to get and I, I bought this, you see? No, there it is, look. Who says you only need one washing machine? I, I wanted another one and I, I got this as an impulse purchase. Private, oops, hang on. Private has a three kilogram white knight electric dryer. Can't afford to use it now. Al Bundy, the Grumbleweeds. Oh, we are the Grumbleweeds. Weren't they just on the radio? I don't remember them being on the telly. I don't think I really listened to the Grumbleweeds. My dad was a big Goons fan. So I used to hear Goons show. It's a long time ago. I do have a dryer. It's the AEG one that matches match my old AEG washer. I've done a video on it on my channel. As I say, I'm hankering for a Miele dryer to match that, but I wouldn't want it in the um, in the garage. Basically, the dryer costs as much as the washer. But I, I could, if I tidy out my bedroom, it would fit in my built-in wardrobe. I think if it's if I can do that. Um, so I might. I know the new Miele dryer is more economical than my heat pump AEG, but not by much. I try it, well, in the summer, I try not to use a dryer. Although I do like towels out of the dryer, they don't go all stiff. Let's see. I'm only joking, Mark. Don't worry. I don't mind people, you know, bad-mouthing appliances. It's when it gets personal. If they bad-mouth me, then, that's, then it's nasty, but... Somebody bad mouths an appliance, then it's only the appliance that gets abused. Look, I don't know what PSY Gangnam style is. I think somebody's asked me, you might have asked me that before. I've no idea what that is. I know Gangnam style is a dance that was popular for two minutes a few years ago, but I've no idea what you're talking about because I'm over 50. Chris says, the Miele washers with twin dose sell for over £2,000 here in Canada. I hope you get rid of Trudeau soon. Um, yes, I've been watching some Miele Canada videos, actually, with um, um, an Asian-looking gentleman and a tall, bald man. And I watch those. The tall, bald man isn't very good at presenting, um, but they're doing it live. So I've, I've watched quite a few of those. And... Um, very interesting. Samsung Man 1400. Hi, do you like me, Roger? I know you're upset with me and my dad is in hospital. I would love to have a vintage machine. I have a new Hoover H wash series. They're not as good as this. Of course they're not. I don't um, dislike you or like you, Samsung Man, because I don't know you. Um, I don't tend to be very fond of people who nag me constantly for things and keep going on and on to do certain things because I won't do them when do people do that. It's called nagging, you see, and I don't like it. So, um, no, I don't dislike anyone I haven't... Well, yes, there's... I have to say there's some people I don't like in the old vacuum community. I absolutely loathe and detest them with all my heart and I've never met them, but they've done things to me that... It's unforgivable, but I'm not going to name them. Why is the shark vertex not called vertex in the UK? I don't know. You'll have to ask shark that. Oh, hang on. My legs are falling off. <laughs> uh, oh, nothing worth, worse than... I've got a friend, actually, Hoovermatic, who likes stiff towels. When he... Well, they don't come to stay so much now. Um, but when he and his partner used to come and stop overnight, we'd put out soft, fluffy towels and he didn't like them. So we had to make sure he got stiff ones. But I like a, I like a soft, fluffy towel. Um, but yeah. 
He's a big Neela fan, is that friend. He was, he was ever so pleased to see that I've got a Neela. Are you going to be keeping this machine if you mean this one? Yes. Coco Chanel has four washers. One is broken in the basement, one overheated. It's in the kitchen, one has exploded. It's in the attic. How do you get a washing machine up in the attic? And the fourth one doesn't turn the drum, so I wash my hand. Oh dear. Four washing machines and you're washing by hand. Hello from uh, Diego, uh, here in Brazil, the one that washes and also dries is more popular, I think you call it. No, we call them, they might call them combo in America, but we call them washer dryers. I don't like them because my mum has one, she doesn't use the dryer part of it, she has a separate dryer. If you haven't room for a separate dryer, then that's a good option, but um, I think they're more, they tend to be less reliable, I've heard. And you can't tend to drop. They're probably better than they used to be, but um, yeah, if you've got if you're tight for space, then I suppose. Would I be interested? I no, I know of the Dyson flop washing machine you refer to, the uh, Contra Rotator. I like the idea of it, um, but I've no plans on trying to find one. I suspect getting parts for them would be terrible. I'm not going to start buying loads of washers. This was like, I saw it, I thought, perhaps they'll, perhaps they'll deliver it to me. They're not that far away, because obviously most washers are collection only. And it's just, um, it was just a fate that I should end up sitting on my kitchen floor, getting rheumatism and piles, um, talking to you because I've got a Hoover Ecologic. And, it, you know, it, I would have, as I said, I prefer a computer control 1100, but I'm just glad to have an old Welsh made Hoover washer. Uh, are you getting rid of your Dyson? Who are you talking to? Can't be me because I haven't got a Dyson washing machine. I'm selling a Dyson vacuum on eBay. Oh, uh, a DCO5 motorhead. Well, it'll be tomorrow that goes up. Uh, oh, right, you're talking amongst yourselves about the Dyson. Okay, I can't see. Mark Fontaine, I swear detergents are not the same as they used to be. I've given up trying to find decent detergent. Any suggestions? Well, I'm happy with the old Mila Twin Dos. <coughs> I'm happy with this. I love it. Um, I tend to just do, I like the bio, bio um, I use the biologic, bio, I can't remember. It's a green, it's in a sort of a brown bottle. Biological origins or something. I can't remember. I used to use that. I still use their fabric softener because it's not too chemically smelling and... Um, well, it's like the smell of it. But I, tend, I do use a biological powder for occasionally, but not now I've got the Miele. I'm using up my old powders and sticking with Miele's detergents. Sean says, one thing you probably didn't know is they used to out UV ozone lights in washers and dryers, mainly Whirlpool Kenmore in the 50s and early 60s. Oh, so that's not, not a new idea using UV and ozone, is it? Then thought that was quite a new thing. So apparently Sean says they were using them in the 50s and 60s. PSY is the person who made Gangnam Style. Well, I've no opinion on that. Um, I don't know what that's got to do with washing machines. And you get a gang ma gang gangman style washer. Uh, what is the Henry unboxing? Please, Kevin DV, look at my Henry my pneumatic playlist, and you'll see forty odd unboxings. I don't know which Henry unboxing you're talking about. I do have some new ones, um, and they will be coming up. What do I type on eBay to find vintage washers? Well, you could try typing in vintage washing machine. That's the first thing. Um, I type in vintage Hoover, 
when I'm looking for old vacuums. And that's, I think, how I found this. Because I wasn't looking for a washing machine, it just happened to turn up. I wasn't searching for Hoover Ecologic. Of course, if, you're, if you want a specific washer, then obviously just search for that. But put in lots of different searches, because people will not always put in the model or the name. Somebody might have listed this and just put Hoover washing machine and you've no idea what it is. So you have to trawl through an awful lot of stuff, especially when you put vintage Hoover or Hoover vacuum, because of course you'll get all the brands. You won't just get Hoover. You can go on the side of eBay and click specific brands, you know, to, to narrow the search. But even if you tick Hoover, you'll still get Henry's and all sorts of other people, other things so you have to go through a load of stuff i'm on ebay all the time looking um damir mukas 32 hey roger what are your personal experiences on the hoover what this one is this what you talk i don't if this is what you're talking about i don't know i've only had it an hour so uh i don't know do I have any requests for our Samsung? No, I don't really, thank you. I don't really watch um, many washing machines going. I have been looking at old Hoover ones though. Um, and I say, I've, I've, I've looked at some of the, uh, some of Florence Ballard's videos. I watched some of his, not all, you know, not all the time. Um, Bosch Expert 2002. Like, I use detergents without optical brighteners for darks, towels being an exception. Anything that's not dark coloured, I use detergents with OBA. I don't like, because optical brighteners, they're just like tiny fragments of uh, something or other, aren't they, to reflect the light, I, I read. So, um, I'm not going to... Oh, oh, it's doing something. Ooh. I think what it's doing is maybe... It's about to finish the wash and it's adding some cold water before it pumps it out. I think that's possibly what it's up to. Mm. What are the extra cycles on the Miele? Well, we'll have a look, shall we? Oh, Hubby has just found a Hoover Electron toy washing machine on eBay. Yeah, I've, I had that when it was brand new. I've got a couple myself um, of those Hoover Electric. They're quite beaten up because the control panel on those toys is just a piece of uh, like a sticker and that's often worn away. The, the, the countertop is a sticker. Um, so to get one in very good condition, it's quite hard nowadays. So I'll just leave that then. And I've had a, a, a question about this. Uh, right. I've got to be careful because when this starts... Um, when this starts pumping out, I might have to wrap another old towel around that because it is my little Heath Robinson join is a bit drippy because I've, yeah, it's going to give me a shock. No, it's okay. Right. I've had a request. Now, further programs. Yes. Sasha. <coughs> oh, Oh, ah, yeah, hang on a minute. Ah, just gonna have to get some water, folks. I've got a bit of uh, acid gone into my mouth. Uh, oh, that would have been terrible. Choking to death on you on YouTube. Well, ah, I tell you what it is. I can taste it. I take um, oregano oil capsules. Look it up if you feel they, they'll help you. But they repeat and oh, that's what's happened. If you take those, you're supposed to take them before a big dinner. Right, hang on. So the further programs available on this Miele are Cotton's Hygiene, Outerwear, Express 20. Now I use that sometimes, I have used that instead of doing if i want to do some extra rinses instead of selecting rinse and spin i do the express 20 but what i do is go to cold you see 
and then obviously I deactivate Twinned Off and don't put any detergent in and so you can get you know it's the equivalent of doing some rinses and spins but it's 20 minutes instead of whatever the rinse and spin uh, program takes oh god how do you get back I don't want that folks no hang on sportswear automatic plus I don't think I'll ever use that pillows Curtains, down-filled items, first wash, that's if you've got new clothes and you just want to give them a quick wash to get rid of any, I don't know, residues from the factory, the sweatshops where your clothes are made. Oh, are you going to go? No. Down duvet, oh, I don't have down. The synthetic duvets for me, I couldn't sleep under feathers. Separate rinse, starch. Drain spin maintenance, and then we go into the settings where you can fiddle about to your heart's content and adjust the twin DOS, um, which I have done. Um, you can adjust the oh, observe water. What's that about? Hardness, oh, right, yeah, so you can do all sorts of things. I don't want to observe hardness, we don't need to see hardness, do we, folks? family show right so um yeah but the mobile start i actually do use that so basically you just put it on mobile start load up your washing press the start button and now i would go into the Miele app and i can select the program from that even if i'm at the other side of the world and then i can start the wash and then I can observe what it's doing from the app, see how long it's got left. It's more useful than I thought it would be, actually. I live in a three-story you know, three house. So if I'm right at the top of the house in my bedroom, I can go on the app and see if the washer's nearly finished. Because you can't hear it going. It's very quiet. So certainly two floors up, I don't know the washer's on, even when it's spinning. Uh, but it does send me a little notification it, my iPad goes beep beep or something and it tells me it's finished. So it, it, it is more useful. <clears throat> I'm going to have to have some more water. <clears throat> I've used the dark garments. Quick power wash I've used. <clears throat> it's a little bit like AEG's Oco Power. <clears throat> I think I'm going to die live. Ugh. Uh, it's a bit like a, after you talking too long. Hang on, folks. Oh, dear. <coughs> oh, it's a dreaded C word. It's a cold. Oh, let's get some more water. <coughs> Don't die, Roger. You've, just, you've got lots to live for. You've got to get this washer out in the garage. Drinking fizzy water is probably not the best thing to do. Right. <clears throat> you see, if I if I was recording this, I'd stop recording and have a good, good, you know, <clears throat> hack up. Oh, right, hang on. So the quick power washer does use a lot less water. Unless you fiddle about with the settings, you can make it cancel. Yes, I don't I want to cancel. Oh, okay, sorry, yes. What do you mean it cannot be changed? How dare you? You can fiddle about with, you know, the temperatures. Um, it does actually do a 50 degree wash when you're doing think, cottons and some other minimum iron. Anyway, I'll be showing you this properly later, but it's uh, <coughs> very good. Right, hang on, that's, it's draining, but it's, it'll be okay. Oh, half past eight, what time did I start this? Honestly, oh, I'm really pleased, really pleased with that. It'd look even better when there's uh, washing in it, won't it? <coughs> it's very sudsy considering I hardly put any, um, any detergent in. Let's just get some more drink, hang on, I'm, I'm dying here. <clears throat> I might start belching in a minute because it is fizzy water. 
All right, let's get back to your comments. <clears throat> Adrian O'Connor, greetings from Ireland. Two things stand out, better build quality and a decent amount of water. Well, yes, it's a good Welsh made washer. That mealer though, I mean, on some of the wash programs, it is quite stingy water wise, um, but I've been looking at it and, and then some of the washes on the rinses, it really is very spectacular when it's, it, I like the way it sort of spins during the rinse as well. It goes really fast, and you do see a lot of lot of water, um, more in the rinses than the washes. You can, uh, you know, you can make it put more water in if you want to. <clears throat> um, hello, Jack, the gamer who is awesome. Optical brightness can fade darks. Well, always wash your darks inside out. <clears throat> yes, my partner does like the new Mila. He goes on about it more than I do. Um, yeah, apart from earlier I told you, he's already had two pound coins in it. Fortunately, I heard them rattling and uh, got them out before any damage was done, I had a right go. I said, what? I just spent X amount of money on that. How dare you? <coughs> we shouldn't have done that. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> so, I've been talking too long. I'm gonna have to have another drink. I should do this and just drink gin. I've just done fizzy water. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I'll be going shortly, folks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Please say hi, Jack. Right, hi, Jack. <clears throat> I got a shout out today on a live video. It's very exciting. Matt and Elliot, they're two gentlemen who are refurbishing their house. And they also, they also go around show homes. And they went around a show home this afternoon live. And I caught it and I said, hello. <clears throat> And they said, hello, it's Roger. <clears throat> Chandler Dempsey, hi Roger, love all your videos. Thank you. Teresa Walker, what's the proofing cycle on the Mila? I'm assuming it's not for making bread. You're wrong, Teresa. Many a true word spoken in jest. Yes, you can actually make whole meal and white and a French stick loaf in that Mila on the special bread setting, proofing. No, proofing is, and, and you can use it in, com, on, in combination with a proofing um, liquid, which Mila do make. It basically is for reproofing your waterproof garments to, to give a, you know, a layer of waterproof protection. So when you've used the proofing program, for the best results, you're supposed to put it in a dryer afterwards to it help set the stuff to make it work or something. So that's what proofing is. <clears throat> uh, hang on a minute. How's the app on the Mila? It seems silly to have an app at first, but then I find myself wishing I could control. Yes, I thought the app was silly, Teresa, and there's a lot of outtakes when I couldn't get the, I nearly swore, couldn't get it to work. Once it's all working, <clears throat> It is surprisingly, I mean, I don't often start the program using the app, but it is useful. If I'm on my iPad, I can just go into the app and see how long the washer's got left. <clears throat> so it's more useful than, than you think. John Brewster. Hi, Roger. I hope you've recovered from your cold. Yes, I've got over my cold, but now, now I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Thoroughly recommend the Miele washer. We have one ourselves, albeit a more basic WDA, WDA 100, but it has been faultless for the last six years. Well, when I, I think I said when I was getting a Miele, I've had people saying, I've had three in, I've had three replacements in, in six months, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking if someone has had to have a new Miele washer, three new Miele washers within a few months, 
Personally, I think it's something they're doing wrong rather than the washer. That's my opinion. They've done, they've installed it wrong or they've done something wrong to it. How can you get three in a row that are faulty? I'm not sure how that happens. Maybe there was a bad batch, but they do test them. They're supposed to test them before they send them out. I've never had that experience with any washer I've bought uh, <coughs> going wrong. In fact, I've never had anyone out to repair anything. Not for years and years. <clears throat> Well, we can see it's, it's emptying now. It's starting to rinse. I'm so chuffed with it, really am. <clears throat> right, I've lost, I've lost my space. Yes, I'm going to review and demo the Mila, yes. Just curious, the Mila is beaut, Roger. It is, I just love it. I love the Mila. Is there going to be a big mess test this year? Well, I expect so. <coughs> Ubermatic thinks these are the best Uber machines built. This is what I've been reading on Automatic Washer Org. When I was researching these, when I knew I'd won it, I mean, I've, I obviously knew about the logics and the ecologics and the electrons because I do have a lot of old Hoover brochures and I have been interested in Hoover washers and I'm washing machines for many years, not as much as vacuums, but you know, I'm not an expert, but I, I do. I'm aware of many older models. Um, I remember the hot point ones for the purple, purple coloured glass. Um, and I had, you know, so I, I do follow washing machines, but I've been sort of looking at ecologics and logics and reading threads on automatic washer org. And a lot of people have said, yes, probably the logics and ecologics were, you know, among the best. And then the new wave sort of came along and I, I my mum had a new wave, but it didn't last very long. I liked it. I liked the spin wash thing it did. But then the Mila does that. <clears throat> um, Robox laundry, you can make requests, but whether I do them, um, it's up to you. Mark says, if you look after the machine, it looks after you. Well, I do look after my things. Do Mila do a 10 kilogram? Not as far as I know, not yet anyway. Nine is the highest um, capacity at the moment. <clears throat> I expect I can shove more in that nine kilogram Mila than a 10 kilogram Hoover. Well, a modern Hoover one, you know. <clears throat> Teresa says, that's how it is with people complaining about Samsung in the US. If that many appliances were terrible, they, they wouldn't still be selling like hotcakes decades upon, uh, decades upon, upon decades. Mark Forrest, what's your plans for the new vintage machine watch? Well, I'm going to wine and dine it and then maybe give it a nice massage, baby oil. Um, and we might make a little, a little twin tub or something. No, my uh, plans for this. Basically, I'm going to play with it whenever I can. Um, maybe see if the crease guard's broken, so I'll try and fix that. I'm gonna make videos of it, but it, it can't stay in the kitchen, unfortunately. It's just an impulse buy that I wanted to try, and it seems fine so far. So I just plan to occasionally get it out and play with it, you know, but. I have no, nothing specific in mind for this. If I manage to move to another house with space to have it plumbed in and I can use it alongside a modern washer, then I will do that. <clears throat> when you're going to show all your pneumatic cleaners, I'm hoping to do that sometime this year. There must be about 60 to 70 of them though, so it's a big job getting them all together. Uh, I've done that one. Elliot and Matt, I was just talking about you, Elliot. I just said I had a shout out. I caught uh, your live, Not uh, I didn't call, catch it at the beginning. I caught it uh, halfway through. And um, I re-watched I, I re that and it just made me think, oh, crikey, I must start tidying up more. When, when I, Elliot and Matt, folks, you must subscribe to Elliot and Matt if you like looking around new show homes and you like um, to see an older house being renovated. I'm trying to get caught up with all their videos. Um, 
So I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of sort of more or less caught up with the renovation. So they're renovating a house, uh, and it's very interesting. And it's like, oh, uh, so exciting! I'm really excited for them. It's very uh, nice to see an older house they bought and what their plans are, and they're, they're getting it all done. So I'm looking forward. It's really interesting. So if you like to see people renovating a house, or you like to see new build houses, you like to get some inspiration. Um, for your home or it makes you think oh my home's a dump I'm gonna get some paint out and do it up and get some new cushions you know they're really uh, really fun to watch so go over to Elliot and Matt that's the channel name and subscribe to them um, Hoover oh look it's putting, it's putting water in uh, <coughs> Hoovermatic just to warn you the final spin is fun to watch it does a spin dip so 800 to 1200. Oh, well, maybe we'll be around for the final spin. I don't know. I don't know how long it's got. Well, we're in rinsing, aren't we? I'm so pleased with it. It's much quieter than I, I just thought it would be really. It is noisy when it's spinning. I know that, yes. <clears throat> Robox laundry. I want you to do dark clothes on denim at 40 degrees and 1600 RPM if you can with twin DOS. Well, if I can, I will, maybe. Hello to Mikas TV. When are you going to make the video of your new pneumatic cordless? Very soon. That might be the next one. I was waiting for some extra heads to come for that because I want to try it out with some different heads to improve it. Now, the head it comes with is not the, the model I got. It's the previous head. I thought it would be the latest head, but the one I've got, it's got the previous pneumatic head. Um, but I've also got two new Vesselwerk heads, low en you know, for low energy vacuums, plus a Vesselwerk turbo nozzle. So I want to try all those out. And I also want to get out my other two cordless pneumatics. Of course, the normal Henry cordless, and I've got another commercial cordless. So I want to incorporate those. So that will be coming up fairly soon, hopefully. Um, Elliot and Matt, uh, did you like the big, big cupboards for storage. Well, I'm always like a big cupboard, cupboard, Elliot. Well, are you talking about the new build or your house? Can't, I can't, um, I'm not sure what video you're referring to, but you know, everyone needs big cupboards. Um, I do like those pantries that you show, get all your, your tins of beans in. But yes, as you know, I do like a, I do like a, a utility and one day I will have a utility and if I can't have a utility I could always extend my kitchen because there's a house style like this in the village they extended their kitchen back a bit like you did with the sloping roof and the velux I would do that but I would incorporate in the plans a separate utility and that would be the only reason I'd do it just so I could have my separate ut utility so I could have my new Mila washer and I'd get the matching dryer and I could also have this vintage machine as well so I can play with the vintage 90s washer as well as my brand new lovely lovely Mila there it's lovely <clears throat> uh, will I have any robot vacuums I will be featuring robots on my channel when I've tidied up my house I can't set a robot vacuum cleaner going in the mess It'll get tangled up with dirty pants, um, wires underneath stuff, bits of hoover, um, maybe some dead mice under the sofa. When it's all cleared, then I can set the robots out, but not until then, they're in their boxes. When am I getting the new caravan? Um, I think in, a, in two weeks. There is a new cat. you'll be seeing... <clears throat> We have to have some more water. You'll be seeing my new caravan on Sunday on Roger's Bits and Doings because I took a quick video of it before I even knew that we were going to buy it. I had no idea. Couldn't believe we left that caravan show uh, place and <laughs> buying a new caravan. We only went in for a draw runner. So I did record a quick video on my iPhone. So you'll see that tomorrow on Roger's Bits and Doings. Oh, it's stopped. Oh, Chris Guard's come on. Oh, so it has come on. Oh. Do I just... Oh, oh heck, folks. Help, help, what do I do? It's in a rinse hold, isn't it? Do I just... Oh, what do I do to... Oh, I forgot. oh, I'm going to have to check what I have to do. Hang on a minute. Sorry, folks. 
I didn't realise the crease guard had worked. Um, so I, th I need to select spin, don't I? And when it finishes spinning, I'm going to have to go. I'll get back to your comments in a minute. I'm just looking at me, uh, me instructions. Da, da, da. Let me get to the crease guard. Here it is. Here it is, crease guard. Ah, what's it say? Uh, I can't read it. Hang on. Da, 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 close. Oh, no, hang on. Machine will stop full of water when you're ready, uh, until you're ready. The crease guard indicator will light. Yes. Don't attempt to open the door. Press the crease guard button to complete the program. Oh, thought I did that. I think it's faulty, you know. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, it's worked. It's worked. It's worked, folks. <clears throat> Right, hang on. So when this finishes spinning, I'll have to go. I've been on for 106 minutes and I, I can't feel my legs. I'm gonna have to do a silly walk. Right. Do you think that Mila is copying Samsung's washer features, like controlling the washer with your phone? Because yes, that's plagiarism. Well, I think everyone's doing it. Mila were making washing machines long before Samsung was even a company. So I don't think they're copying, they're just providing features that people want. And I think Miele have enough good ideas. I'd much rather have a German Miele than whether Samsung is Chinese or Taiwanese or Korean, I don't know what they are. Yes, it's, uh, ooh, look, ooh, exciting. Uh, Elliot's saying, the new builds with the huge understair cupboards. Well, they're not, not as big as I'd like, Elliot. They, I wouldn't get many vacuums in. Yes, you were talking about um, you'd like to design your own house. And yes, that would be nice. I'd like to be able to design it and go away and just let the men do the job. And, you know, I don't want to get involved with it. Ooh! I'm going to back up because it'll be too noisy. Um... Yes, I, I would have lots of big cupboards. You were showing a show whom, uh, oops, hang on, I can't feel my legs. Oh, you showed, I think it was a red drawer, my favorite. And it had a huge bedroom with a walk-in wardrobe. It had wardrobes either side. I said to Mark, I said, well, I'll have one side for my clothes and the other side I'll fill with vacuum cleaners. I've got a big wardrobe in my bedroom and it does have my clothes in, but it also has loads of vacuum cleaners but to have separate you know it's best to separate your clothes and vacuum cleaners i think you know keep them separate right uh. okay hang on, hang on. <laughs> right done that john says john john is saying to elliot and matt just watched your first live it was great guys keep it up Yes, it was fun. Because doing a live, as I'm doing now, you can chat to your viewers in real time, can't you? And give them shout outs. Uh, you should get the first pneumatic cleaner. Well, I don't think that they're, they're very easy to get hold of, Josh, you know. Old classic vacuum. Do I have any vacuum cleaners from Etta? I've had one. I've shown it on my channel. I'm not planning on getting any more. You can't buy Etta vacuums in the UK anymore. Oh, hang on. I still can't feel my legs. Is there a Kenmore Elite in the UK? No. We don't have the Kenmore brand in the UK. Ah, oh, that's better. Right. I'll be going as soon as the washer finishes. Sean says robotic vacuums can have a mind of their own at times. I enjoy using my 1965 Kirby dual Sanitronic 50 every morning in straight suction mode to pick stuff up off the hard floors in my house. Uh, but bunny ears on the washing machine and make it an Easter fi Oh, put bunny ears on. I don't have any bunny ears. Um, I do have a bunny girl outfit, but that's for another channel. Uh, oh, Samsung is Korean. I think I said Korean after I mentioned uh, all the others. 
the high grove Elliot says um, <clears throat> is the high grove the yes it's that one that um, it's got the big obviously it's got the lounge and then the kitchen and then it had another room which was set up as an office that's the one I liked that might have been the high grove but I would have that office as, as, the, as a, a small living room. Oh, I think we're finished. Um, well, it's gone all quiet. I think we'll have to wait a minute to open the door. I'm going in a minute, folks, because the washer's finished. When am I going to make some more videos at your mum's house? Very soon, because I'll be off to my mum's on Good Friday for two weeks. And then I'll be going on a caravan holiday soon after that. Well, we've got some new subs. Good sub to Elliot and Matt. They're a couple of lovely young men. What they don't know about Mikhail, Mikhail Burishnikov's nobody's business. Some of you will know that reference. I think Elliot might know it because it's uh, <laughs> from Victoria Wood has seen on TV the character Kitty, played by Patricia Routledge, who of course plays Hyacinth. Bucket. Bouquet! Yes, um, I've, I've only recently, fairly recently discovered Elliot and Matt. And yes, I do enjoy watching them going about their business. So, yes. Elliot and Matt, go over and uh, have a look at their channel, folks. When will I review the Henry Spring Clean? Uh, haven't I done that one? <laughs> I've done so many. Is it the spring clean or the clean air? I don't know. I think I've done it. Honestly, they're all the same. They're all the same, folks. Just realise that most of them are the same. <laughs> they just give them different names. There's a Henry home as well. There's Henry family. There's, uh, there's probably going to be a multicoloured rainbow Henry. Henry transgender. I don't know. <laughs> they all suck up the buck, don't they? Are you going to do any more sharks? Yes, I am. Uh, two more cylinders or canisters if you're watching from the United States. Um, oh, and an upright. Uh, Richard C, 1983. What's the new Miele washer you've got? Well, did you not watch the video? Ours is a twin DOS and it shakes the house. They've been so many... Uh, well, Richard, nine... Um, hang on. Oops. There it is. No, it doesn't shake anything because it's on a solid concrete floor and I levelled it. And it is, and it's got, of course, transit brackets have been removed. And it's as solid as a rock. So far, it's not shaken anything. Apart from my heart, because I love it so. Um, right, well, I've not had any trouble with my spinning on that. Um... Thanks, Elliot. Great to catch you on alive. I'm sure you you haven't been watching from the from the, the beginning though. Most people have lost the will to live. Happy Easter, Roger. I don't know who Roger is, Mark. Uh, I don't know where that D comes from. Oh, Josh has subscribed to uh, Elliot. Oh, Elliot and Matt love. Yes, I thought you'd like Kitty. Oh, it was so sad when Vicky Wood passed away. She is. What's she say? Kitty. She's very funny. She said, oh, she said, she said, I'm a radical feminist lesbian. I thought, what would the Queen Mum do? So I just smiled and said, we shall have fog by tea time. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, folks, I'm sure it's on YouTube. Look for Kitty Victoria Wood YouTube. If you like keeping up appearances and you haven't seen Patricia Routledge doing the character of Kitty, which came before um, Hyacinth. She's very similar. Um, watch it. As seen on TV, Victoria Wood, um, absolutely brilliant. And Dinner Ladies, of course. Anything Victoria Wood's done. What washing machine do I think Mrs Bucket had? Well, she would have had to have one. She would have had to have a Hoover, surely. Because the Queen's got one. And she'd want to have the washer the Queen has, wouldn't she? I don't know what other washing machine manufacturers... I think at the time it was only Hoover that... Uh, that Queenie, she'd put her smalls in. Queen, the Queenie could have had this. She'd have, she'd have put her smalls in there. We could open it now, I think, can we? There we go. Woo! 
Yes, you can imagine the Queen's frilly knickers going round in there, can't you? So, yet yeah, the Queen probably went off her hoover. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I plan on getting, getting any more Kirby's? I've got one Kirby left and I'm probably going to get rid. Elliot has a Bosch Series 6 Twin Eidos. But you don't have a matching dryer. I don't know how, how that's going to look in your new utility. It should be fine. It's level, it's, uh, it's been out five times, blah, blah, blah. Oh yes, bl wooden floors. Well, a washer should work on any floor, shouldn't it, really? I'm fortunate that this is concrete. Um, my mum's Miele is on a wooden floor, though, and that's fine. That's an older model. How is Mark? Mark's off with a... Well, I daren't say, but it's nearly nine o'clock. He's off with a group of men um, called Outdoor Lads, and they go walking together, and they, they walk outdoors, and they're all lads... I don't need to go into detail, but they're, they're all bachelors. Anyway, he's gone to see some play of, of something or other in some backwater. Um, I can't remember what it is. That's the only reason I can do this now, because I've got to get this out. It's dark. I've got to get this out back to my garage before he comes home. If he comes home and this is out and I'm here still kneeling in front of the washer, he will blow his top and he'll beat me and I won't be able to appear on YouTube for at least a month. I say, not the face, not the face. But sometimes he gets carried away, you know, he just pummels me. And No, I, I'm joking, folks. Don't, don't report him. <laughs> he knows if he tries hitting me, he'd get more than enough hitting back. Yes, I know you've got autism, Mark. I don't know what you're apologising for. Um, I hope I've not said anything to upset you either um because i'm only i'm joshing with you know i tend to ignore folk i don't like just block them all oh, right yes i yes well no richard um i did did show on a, a earlier video of that washer when i got it so that's on my channel so you obviously missed that i know june brown died it's bouquet we know it's bouquet but it is bucket and we don't know what happened to Sheridan. I've got my su suspicions about Sheridan. Hoovermatic. Oh, us queens need to stick together. What do you mean, queen? I'll have you know. Yes, I am a queen. <clears throat> uh, no, we'll never know what washer. We'll never know what washer the queen has. And there was a very funny, some of you might know who Kenny Everett was, but um, he did a little s a sketch. He was dressed as the Queen, but he still had a beard and he was talking about all the things that the Queen has, you know, given her approval to. Um, and I think it had a Hoover washing machine and a Hoover vacuum. You know, there's the, the, the Queen approves a lot of things, you know, in, in, in her life. And she did approve Hoover washers and um, I think she used the laundry. I can't see it. Manufacturers of laundry equipment and vacuums. So, yes, the Queen would have had Hoover. But I believe the Queen was quite frugal or is quite frugal and she wouldn't have got the latest model. I wouldn't be surprised if she still got an 80s or 90s model, you know. They tended to uh, have old stuff. Um, I've got to go soon. Uh is it the ultimate G or tradition? Um, it's the diamond edition thing, the, the Kirby I've got. The twin speed Kirby. That's the only one I have left. Well, I, you know, Elliot, I would see what it looks like first. When, once you've moved in and you've got your washer underneath and the dryer on top, see what it looks like. If, if you can't live with it, then yes, you'll have to get the matching dryer. I'm sure you can pass on your old dryer to some needy person or flog it on Facebook. Get some money back. Uh, Richard says, yours is the one with the dial. Wish we'd gone for ours as a touch screen, blah, blah, blah. Yes, well, I went for the dial. I could have coped with the touch. I could have done the touch screen, but Mark, he likes a knob. 
as I said in the video for this, Mark likes a knob. And he does like this machine. He really, he raves about it more than I do. So you still do have the touch, touch screen, but you don't have to use the options. You could just select cottons, you know, and press start. But at the moment he's using up his old detergent. So I tell him, disengage twin DOS, just turn it off. And then he puts his own detergent in. But you know, you don't have to change all the options. But I'm loving the Twin DOS. It's the best, it's why I got this machine for the uh, detergent built in. Marvellous. It is lovely. Look at that, lovely. Um, da -da -da. Uh, we had to concrete a slab under our wooden floor, under our machine. It danced all the way to the centre of our kitchen. I think the original Hoover Matic, not Hoover Matic, the Hoover Key Matic used to dance about, apparently. I wish there was an actor to play Sheridan. Perhaps they could do, well, they can't do a remake. I think Clive Swift has died, hasn't he, who played Hyacinth's husband. Um, could do a spin-off, Sheridan. What would it be called, I wonder? They did a they did a remake of Are You Being Served. It was okay. It was just a one off, I think. I like Are You Being Served as well. Mrs. Slocum's Pussy. I always laugh at Mrs. Slocum's Pussy. Um, well, I'm going to go soon because I really have got to. I've no idea what the time is. Oh, somebody's given me eighty four pence. Thank you, whoever that is. I won't get any of it. YouTube take most of that. Oh, it's Connor. Thank you, Connor. So Connor's donated. Oh, one euro. Uh, Morgan likes my Henry Hoover videos. Uh, I can't, is it Kappa Paulick has a matching Miele washer and dryer. Bye bye Roger says racer, J.A. Roger, when is the video of the Miele washer coming out? We've seen one of them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. You'll get it when you see it, folks, you know. That's what I say. Just subscribe and whatever I get, you'll see. Whatever I put up. Mark Fontaine, you have a quality vintage tuba washer. Hold on to it. They don't make them like they used to. I plan on holding on to it. Obviously, the Mila is lovely for day-to-day -day use and modern washing, but it's nice to have the old quality-assured Welsh-made Hoover. Right, I'm, going to, I'm standing up now because I, I can't feel my legs. How are the dogs? They're asleep. Oh, heck, I just realised my blind is open at the front and everyone can see in. Uh, right, I'm going in a minute. I keep saying that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Teresa, this video is too long. It's live. I, I can't control how long a live video goes on for. Well, I suppose I could. Anyway, my battery is going to run out soon. Yeah. The Laundry Centre, lovely Ecologic, one of the machines they featured for years in my childhood and a matching dryer. Elliot says he can play Sheridan because he's practically hyacinth as it is. Elliot uh, wrote a whole new episode of Keeping Up Appearances on YouTube. Oh, I'll have to look at it. What do you mean? You've dragged up as hyacinth. Are you in, are you in a, a, a nice uh, flowery frock? You've got the Royal Dalton with the uh, periwinkles on. I hope so. Hi from the Isle of Arran, says Bob Arran. Uh, can't see. Oh, I shouldn't have taken one lens out. I'm thinking of making a music video about YouTube, but don't know if I should make it or nah. You make what you like. I don't know whether I should have gone live with this, but I did it anyway, and some people enjoyed it. I've got 80, 87 thumbs up, so um, and 84 pence to, for my trouble. So, um, <laughs> you know, if you want to do something, just do it. Because if I just thought, if I, I wouldn't do anything if I kept thinking, should I do it, should I not? What are people going to think? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Just do it. Because somebody will like what you do. 
you might only get a few people liking it, but it doesn't matter. If you make a video that just one person has really enjoyed or it's, it, it, it's worth it, you know, you're not going to make loads of money if one person watches, but just do it, folks. I'm sure anyone who's got a YouTube channel, I'm sure Elliot, when he started his, he's got a um, Royal Reviewer channel as well. Maybe he thought, should I do this? But he decided he'll do it. And obviously, I think his Royal Reviewer channel, he's got m more than 100,000 subscribers. So you've got to start. Just start doing it, folks. And just enjoy it. Do it. I started my channel because I enjoy playing with vacuums and I thought other people might like to see it. And they did. Um, just try it. It's hard to... Some people are nasty online. You've just got to... I'm a lot more thick-skinned than I... Um, probably Elliot and Matt may get nasty comments sometimes. I don't know. But just delete them, block them. And realise that more people like what you do than don't. And just think about those folk. When I'm making videos, obviously I know that there's 58 people watching now. But when I make filming a video, I don't know how many people are going to watch it. And I just talk as if I'm talking to one person, because that's all you can do. Just, you know, I kneel on my living room floor and get a vacuum out and chat about it. And uh, it's like I don't try and think I might be chatting to a few thousand people. I just think I'm chatting to one person. So just do it, folks. If you're thinking of doing something, just try it. Just try it. At least you've tried. Right, I've got to go in a minute, really. Uh, Mark Forrest, we're buying a Bissell carpet washer tomorrow and one of our Dyson cordless have packed in, so shopping for a new new one. Is it sad I'm, I'm excited about it, Rog? It's not sad, Mark, because I was excited for weeks and weeks about getting that Miele. And then when it came, Mark was worried that I'd be miserable again. But I've already started thinking maybe I should upgrade the dishwasher and then I might get the tumble dryer. <laughs> oh, you can't go on. Yeah, I shouldn't. You shouldn't be excited about getting, you know, should be excited about going on holiday and doing things and making love. Um, yeah, but yes, there's nothing wrong with being excited. I was excited about playing with this. We are all strange. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm, I've got to go, I really have. Uh, will I ever do a video, do a destruction on the washing machine video? I will never, never make a video destroying something. What? I know there are channels that do that and people watch them and they're popular. I will not destroy perfectly good machines for the sake of entertaining folk. It's, to me, it's a very bad vibe doing that. Fair, if the thing is scrap anyway and they want to put bricks in the washer and make it all fall to bits or fill a vacuum with water, that's up to them. But one day when they get an electric shock and end up dead, maybe they'll think it wasn't such a good idea. But I, I prefer when I spend money on something or even if I get it free, I look after it. And if it's no longer of any use or interest, I'll give it to someone or I'll sell it. I will never destroy stuff that's this is old fashioned. It works. It's a lovely old piece of equipment, I think. Some people think well, it's only a washer. Yeah, but we all like different things. I won't destroy stuff, folks. I don't like to destroy things. Um, Coco Chanel says this is one of the best live videos I've ever watched. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. Got to go. Blah, blah. Um, yes, I always do lives off the cuff. I, you know, I never sort of say I'm going to do a live video today. I just do it. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, thank you for... I'll leave this video up because I've not said any... I had to delete my last live because somebody asked me a political question and I answered truthfully and someone didn't like that. So I deleted it. How's the dishwasher doing, buddy? Well, it's still fine. Yeah. Still looks new. Mm. Entry level. I will get a new, when I get a new dishwasher, it will be a Mila. Right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. I am going now. I really am going. 
And um, so that's uh, wipe the water from under the door glass or it will rust. Which on this one, Richard, this or my new one. I don't know which one you mean. I will be wiping it all out. Anyway, I've got to get it out of the house and into the garage before Ian indoors comes home because, as I said, he won't be too pleased. But there we go. It was a very quick video that lasted for 130 minutes just to show my latest purchase delivered today, very soon after I started making this live video. I thought I'd show you it and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Where the doorbell sits in the door. You're talking about this one, Richard? Or are you talking about the Mila? Just say Mila or Hoover and then I'll know. I will be, leave, I'll be wiping it out anyway and drying it out. And uh, I see, do, you mean, do you mean this one? Um, oh, the old one. Okay, yes, I will. I'll be giving it a dry before it goes in the garage, but I'll be bringing it back next week. Um, or maybe it might have to wait a bit longer. I've got lots to do next week. But it will be coming back in the kitchen for proper videos, edited videos, where I'll be uh, doing it properly, not just chatting about um, doodah. -doo. My mum has the same machine for many years, but we got her an LG washing machine this Christmas. She still has a Hoover Logic washer under her stairs. She loves it. Hmm. Well... There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, I love a nice shiny drum, don't you? Right. Well, thanks for watching. I really have to go because time is moving on. I've not had anything to eat. And I've got to lift that washing machine outside all the way down my path into the garage before him indoors comes home. And um, as I say, he won't be happy if it's here. Why don't you review review a festival vacuum? Because they cost a fortune and I don't like them. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. And thanks, I think it was Connor, for the one euro. I will spend it wisely. Right, how do I stop this thing? I want to stop streaming. So for me and the Hoover Ecologic and the Mila. Bye, Mila. Thanks. And I'll see you soon. A new vacuum video coming up on Monday. Bye for now.